I'd like you to close your eyes if you'd like to join me in a meditation about a tree. Imagine a tree, it's a beautiful trunk, its roots deep, branches, flowers at each end. Each flower is different and unique, different shape, different size, different texture, different color. Each one different, not any two alike. Each one has its unique perfume. And together it makes this beautiful bouquet that is wafting over you. Love, breathe that in. Next breath, breathe love into that tree. Thank you. I don't usually quote the Bible. I have some triggers around it for my upbringing. And yet I've come to heal that and see the power and strength in the, in the wisdom of it. David's pulse of spirit, I am the vine, ye are the branches, John 15, 5. He says, I last look, the branches of the vine are part. The branches of the vine are part of the vine. So he was not inviting people to be something other than who and what he was. He was perhaps indicating that he had found the taproot, the core the golden stream at the center of reality and inviting people to participate to participate in it. Breathing that in. Breathing into it. Sometimes it can be disturbing in a good way, shocking, Wow, the extraordinary, the beautiful, something I've never seen before, never experienced before. A depth of knowing, depth of emotion. And it can be shocking the other way too. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize I was being that way. I didn't realize I was being perceived that way. Learning, being centered in it. I've had a lot of opportunities lately to do this, <laughs> be centered in it. <sighs> Having faith in myself that I can stay centered in it, in love. Mm. Though sometimes I want to run away, cut things off. Easier, just cut that branch off. I don't like it anymore. Oh, the branch will show up another way. <laughs> it will show up again. Coming to the realization or deeper knowing of the opportunity when, within each situation. Not trying to fix it or relieve it because so it doesn't come up again. <laughs> no, to actually learn and open up to more, more of what's possible to come through me in these capacities, to be shocked, to be changed, disturbed. <laughs> I'm loving that word more and more. I tend to get comfortable. Doesn't mean that we need to live a quality, we need, we don't, doesn't mean we don't want to live a high quality life, a joy filled life. knowing that each one of us is a unique flower, a unique texture, a unique perfume. Not idolizing each other, not trying to cut each other off, but try to engage with each other. I'm loving your color. I'm loving your scent. 
your texture. Here's mine. Let's do this together. Beyond the questioning, beyond the self-doubt, beyond the questioning that we do for with each other. I've noticed that um, when there is dissonance between people, we tend to want to hurt the other, to make them feel our hurt. It's like cutting a branch off. It's like cutting an expression of the source of life. And I'm here to say, let's not do that anymore. Let's take our disputes our dissonances as opportunities to learn and grow and be able to talk about them. <laughs> bringing our nutrients, bringing our light to each other. So I didn't mean to get all goobery this morning, but the truth of where I'm at, standing in my light, <laughs> thankful to be standing, dancing in this light with all of you. <laughs>